Hey, how you doing, everybody? My name is Anthony, and welcome back to Dead Space. And uh, in the last episode, I got the shock pad and thermite, so I'm gonna place it right here. Pla place it right here. And blow this bitch up. Got might want to stand back. That is very loud in my ears. Thank you. Alright, you're, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. Thank you. Here's some more clinic. Let's see. It should be clear, but it probably isn't. Audio log, video log. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get up to the table. Hold him. Not you. Hold him down. Every quarter. That sounded good. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. I'd also like to find out before I go in the next room what the hell broke through this. Just a reassuring question. But we'll find out sh soon enough. Alright, going in the emergency room. Probably where this whole thing started. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what button? Is there we go. Get off the wall. Uh, where's the other one? It was like to my left somewhere. Oh god. Can't get get off the wall. Come on, shoot him out. There we go. How is that? Okay, let's see. How is that not hitting that? Um, yeah. So I have to take where to go. This thing. Take that. Put it in this over here. Powers the door. Beautiful. Where am I going now? ER hallway A. That mm, bloodiest room so far. Oh, Jesus. I didn't expect him to come running at me like that. What did that thing just throw at me? Is there one on my right? Yep. Thank God for 3D headphones. Guys got annihilated. Pick a better strategy next time. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. You related to the Kingpin? Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? There. Are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, oh god, he's right behind me. Oh, another one. Hey! Stop, stop. Well, it looks like Eileen Fisk didn't survive. Intensive care unit. Is it still someone alive? Oh, ne never mind. <laughs> God. I wonder if she was the one on the recording. God damn. Well then. Don't have to worry about her now. Alright, into the morgue we go. Oh, this is what I need oxygen for. Ma maybe? experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions. And we need them quickly. Yes, you do. Isaac Clark's the solution. Up we go. Or down. Going down. 
It's always down. Ah, <sighs> figured the morgue would be a great place to be. There's bats. Jesus. What? What? Okay, nope, I'm going to the flamethrower for this! Nope, you're dying. Oh, no, maybe I'm dying. This, this is the too much! I'm spamming E! Can I please live? Thank you. Get the thing out of here. Just straight killed him. I didn't even have a chance! Really? Okay. I didn't even have a chance to do anything. They just came in and friggin' mauled me. And now that I know what's gonna happen... <laughs> let's go, Captain. Time to die. I don't know why I shot. <laughs> Come at me, bitch! Come at me, bitch! Got a flamethrower from hell! That doesn't even give a shit. Mammon, mammon, mammon. Get, get the bat out of here. Isaac, you're a beast. Alright, he killed it. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a lot easier with the flamethrower. Captain's rig. Beautiful. Flamethrower is a beast. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Sounds good. I heard something. Are these guys just a common enemy now? Doesn't matter, he's getting fucked up. Yeah, I guess they are just common enemies now. Nice. Good to know. Damn, and you have to stop doing that. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. Well, yeah. I kind of figured you knew that. <laughs> the ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Alright. Yes, sir. Alright. So, it's been a couple of days since I recorded the first half of this video. So, I'm a little rusty on the story because I kind of forgot. <laughs> it's been like three, four days since I recorded the first half. But I do know I have to go to engineering, which is this way. So, uh, let's do that. Alright. On the tram we go. Chapter two is a short chapter. I'll take it. You've got two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. All right. Sounds good, Hammond. Oh, this guy is completely dead. Oh, we'll find out what happened. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since the captain died. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers, started coming back. Changed, coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning, and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel, and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Alright. Guy looks like he just has a gigantic piece of metal sticking out of his shoulder. But, um, I like how each level has a, like, a safe room area. Reminds me of Resident Evil. Uh, there's that whispering again. I want to find out what that is. Every so often, this woman keeps whispering in my ears. Alright, let's go to the machine shop first. See what they got cooking down here. Whole bunch of blood. Same as all the other areas. Good to know. 
I don't know why I didn't expect that. God. It happened multiple times a couple episodes ago, and I still don't expect it. Um, yeah, let's up I'm gonna upgrade my health. Because, oh, why not? Seems useful. Refueling control stations. Is probably where my objective is. Around this area, anyway. Hello. I hear it somewhere. I think it's behind the walls. Oh, there he is. Above me. Thought you could surprise me. Get the fuck out of here. Function kinesis required. Alright. Is there anything else that I need? There's probably something up here. Hold down. Okay. Whatever you say. Oh. That was easy. I figured it'd be a lot harder to refuel it. Control room. Uh, hey! Oh! Oh! Oh, he's gonna turn him into the bat. The big thing. That's depressing. Alright, time for a flamethrower. You gonna jump through this glass? You know what? I'll come into you. Don't worry about it. Alright, you. I don't think you're ready for this, buddy. Let's go. I do not think you're ready. Where are you going? Oh, he's scared. What a bitch. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, okay, okay. Nope. What a bitch. Die him to flames. And he's dead. Not even on my level. Then he's plasma cutter. Oh, Jesus, he's on my face. Get him off of me! Get off, thank you. There you go, Isaac. <laughs> Rip him in half. Can you not? You're dead. Your legs are gone. Everybody knows no one can survive without legs. Bitches. I wanted to see what this thing, where this thing goes. I pulled it over to myself and never used it. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. Two of them. Paste three of them, really? That's kind of excessive. There's two down. There's four total, really. Isaac's just a beast here. He took out three before I even got there. Oh, they had the big one. Nice. Plasma cut is too OP, though. <laughs> Light work. Shut it, Danvers. Shut it. Engineering log. Temple reporting. Someone has shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves in the process. Good job. Be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than ten hours. Say orbit decay. I can't understand who would do this. If it's one of those crazy unitologist bastards, I'll break their neck. Sure you will. God damn it, Danvers! Shut up. Temple out. Where's this thing gonna come out of? Behind me? I don't know. Find out in a second. Oh, huh. this convenient save station. Schematic for a ripper. That's, that sounds pretty dangerous. I am all for it. Not the right button. Nice. Whatever you did, it's working, Isaac. I have a few reading. It's only a quarter full, but that's enough to restore orbit once you bring the engines online. You probably you probably did saw see something, Hammond. But probably some invisible creature. This game will probably have a friggin' animal mutated, have a goddamn cloaking device, turn invisible like Predator. But uh that'll be it for this episode of Dead Space and restored one of the fuel engines and um uh, I can't remember what I did in the first half of this video because it was like four days ago. So uh, I was I'm gonna refuel the second end oh not the right button. I'm going to activate the centrifuge in next video, so for now, arrivederci.